are vectors, three plus three can mean many different things. Three, three plus three can be six. Three can... plus three can be zero. Mm -hmm. And three plus three can be anything between zero and six. And three plus three, the magnitude of three plus three would be maximum when the angle between the vector would be zero. And it would be minimum when the angle between the vector would be 180. So when you apply force, for example, when you apply, when you push something or pull something, make sure you apply how much uh, angle? Zero degrees. Be possible. Math is the language of physics and trigonometry is really helpful. Uh, so today we're going to do the trigonometry lab. And to do the trigonometry lab, I just want to uh, give my student a good understanding of trigonometry. Uh, so once the student have this understanding, then they will fall in love with trigonometry. Now I have a lab assistant, Hello. and his name is Shubhon Isaac, and uh, okay. he he received um, 62 in math uh, AMC. He is a AP physics student at Malwan High School. Scenario one: We have two vector the blue vector and the purple vector and so scenario two three four and five judging by that name tag it looks like you're going to be vector a and i'm going to be vector b we have same magnitude so we are same are we i believe so no we are not we have a wrong angle will understand be able to move that way no okay either you'll st stay at rest or you'll fall over that's right so we have to although we have the same magnitude however uh, we have to understand which angle we have to apply the force. Okay, now scenario one, scenario two, scenario three. Scenario three, you see that scenario two is 30 degree, 90 degree, 120 degree, and and you see this is 180 degree. And how do you measure the degree again? Angle again? You have x and y, and you have let's say a vector. You come to the x-axis and go counterclockwise and or once you hit the blue and that's your angle you call it theta that's the convention of measuring the angles now use we a protractor. use a your protractor now we gave you the angle now we're gonna demo this now our lab assistant gonna tell me what to do because I am vector a and he is vector B it seems like vector B is interesting why vector B a is always same and vector B changes so vector B it changes so again, our lab assistant is going to tell me what to do. How do you see that both vectors are zero degree with respect to x-axis? Both of them, how many degrees with respect to x-axis? Where is the x-axis, by the way? Uh, yeah, that's three newton. That's right. So three newton. So this is your x-axis. Is that right? Yeah. How much force we are applying to the y-axis for scenario one? Zero. Zero force. Okay, good. All right, that's uh, we're done with scenario one. Oh, I'm gonna be the same no matter what, right? right. Okay, I'm just gonna stand maybe like that 30 degrees above. Okay, so the vector B is 30 degree and vector A is still zero. It's still zero. Now, let's see whether it's still gonna be six or something. So, our resulting vector is a little bit less than six. Okay, all right. So now we're going to go to scenario three. As you already understood that three plus three is not going to be always six. It's depending on your direction. We're going to use trigonometry to explain that in the future. Now, scenario three, what do you want me to do now? This is vector A and this is vector B. All right. So, all right. So this is scenario number three. Now, can you update the board? All right. So three plus three. More or less than six. Okay, all right. So I see it's already approaching to zero. zero. All right. Uh, okay, scenario number four. I am still vector A. Okay. And, and vector B, there's actually something behind. Sure. As you understand, I am zero degree with respect to the x axis, and he is not only 90 degree, this is would be 90 degree, but more than 90 degree, which is exactly 120 degree. Of that, Scenario 5, as you see that, we're going to put the x-axis. So, what, uh, what, is, what is the vector A with respect to x-axis? 3 
zero. What is the vector B with respect to x axis? My finger move, index move that way, you're gonna count. Okay, from zero, 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, and 20. There you go. This is how it happens. We're pulling in opposite direction. From plus three, now actually times it becomes three minus three. So the resultant vector is going to be zero. And vector B. B. A has AX and AY, and B has BX and BY. Yeah. You Keep have to. Keep in mind, AY and BY. Are okay, we, we're going to show that. So you have to do the tree diagram as well. So this is three cosine zero degree, and this is three sine zero degree. And this is 3 cosine 0 degree, and this is 3 sine 0 degree. This is 3, this is 0, this is 3, this is 0. x plus x is? 6. y plus y is? 0. c squared is equal to? x squared plus? y squared. So resultant, resultant is? What is the x squared? 9. What is y squared? 0. So the r is? Six.